I can hear the trains moving now. Here, let me take a listen. Yeah, I can definitely hear the train. The engine is moving, the train is moving. I can hear it in the air, but also what I'm using here are contact microphones. And contact microphones uh, record vibration um, through solid structures. I've got a whole, um, a lot of different types of microphones that I've I'm experimenting with to record, including coil microphones that will pick up electromagnetic sounds. Those are not really my favorite sounds, to be honest with you. Um, I'm generally an acoustic musician, so I prefer the natural sounds that are created. Sometimes the sounds are interesting because they're conceptual. The concept of them is interesting, but the actual sound is potentially not so interesting. <laughs> Um, so then you kind of have to make a decision as a musician, like, do I allow the concept to speak or do I choose the sounds that are most interesting to me or most beautiful or um, a combination of both. Wow, Thomas, that was amazing. You should have heard that. You can hear it. I can play it back for you. It was incredible. My favorite residence is, uh, that I found so far is up in Sparta, Minnesota, where my great-grandparents had a boarding house for miners and one half of Sparta has been evacuated um, because the they might mine there <laughs> in the next century there's one house near the pit Genoa pit that has these phenomenal um, this leftover steel from the structure of the house and it's all curved and it's quite thin and when you put contact microphones on that and the wind blows through it's a just gorgeous resonance and ever-changing. It's um, nature's improvisation, I think. These are the, the steel bases that are holding up one of the railroad, uh, the railroad bridges here that go on out to the docks. Originally, there I think there were six of these docks. There are only two left in existence, and this is the only one that's working. It's now owned by CN, Canadian National and the train will come from the iron range onto this dock and it'll load the iron ore pellets um, down the chutes into the Lakers. In fact, I can see some pellets here, so let me see if I can get them. One of my favorite sounds that I've gotten, actually, oh, they're all frozen, is uh, I take taconite pellets, which are incredibly heavy, like a 30, 40 pound bag of them, and I'll take my kayak into a pit lake And if I drop a taconite pellet down, I can hear it um, uh, avalanche all the way down uh, the, the drop underwater and take everything else with it. It can take like 15 seconds for a pellet to reach the bottom and you can hear the whole thing. I'm a violinist by training, a musician. I've worked as a um, touring musician, performing musician for a decade, and I've been doing it all of my life. But I'm also really interested in um, history, I'm interested in sound art, I'm his interested in field recording, and so I've created this project that combines all of those things. I'm originally from Hibbing, Minnesota, so I'm very interested in how I have come to be <laughs> on the earth at this time. So part of this project is also me um, returning as an adult through the, the media that I use, through music, through sound, um, to learn about more about the history of the region. And I'm doing that through making art, basically, but I also try to learn a lot about the history and think about bigger questions at the same time.